Hi, this is Wendy DeRosa, the founder of Held in Light and the Held in Light School of Intuitive Studies. The courses offering this summer are to support you in your spiritual growth and to help you develop your intuition. Are you someone who wants to develop your intuition but can't always trust the different feelings you may be having? Well, you're not alone. This indicates that your human emotions or issues may be creeping up and getting in the way of your intuition. Our intuition is the voice of our soul. And in order for your soul's voice to be heard, you may need to distinguish between an old emotion or the past is creeping up and when you actually are having an intuitive, intuitive hit. So what do you do when the feelings from the past or emotions creep in and you can't sense your intuition? Well, first, I teach a course called Clearing Blocks to Intuition, and in this course, you will learn how to process through the energetic and emotional blocks that will overpower your intuition. And I'm going to give you a few tips from the course. First, process your emotions. And what that means is that we evolve First, we evolve through our human experience, and what makes us human is that we have emotions. Feelings are our empathic way of connecting to one another. Emotions, however, come with an attachment to a life experience or something from the past. So there's sometimes memory, like a cellular memory or a sensory experience that comes with that emotion. And it's so important to feel those emotions and breathe. Otherwise, they will pop up whenever you're triggered in your present situation and you will need to deal with them at the time or sometimes they're so big you can't even hear your intuitive voice. It's important to process your feelings and your emotions. Second, your issues are not in your head. They are in your body. Notice when you're feeling and pay attention to your body's sensations. Notice what comes up for you and where in your body you are feeling that sensation, that fatigue, that uh, pain, whatever it may be. Uh, your, your issues are in the cellular anatomy in the body. It's as if our life, in our life we go through an experience and at that time our cells take a snapshot or our energy will say take a snapshot of that situation and store it for later. We have to process through the energy that gets stored in our body. So the issues are not in your head, they're in your body. Number three, ask for help. Sometimes we may need continued support in processing the emotions from the past. We can't do it on our own often for many people. The first step in getting support is asking for help. Even if you don't know what to ask for, by seeking a qualified practitioner or therapist or coach or healer, you get into the hands of someone who will know how to support you in digging in. They will know what you need and they will support you. Asking for help is generally where people get blocked in their healing or growth. You deserve to receive all that you need and want. Ask yourself, what do I need? And then seek out the support to help you reach that goal if you are needing support. Number four, feed your soul. Your soul needs to be nourished by whatever your spirit feels intuitively drawn to for joy. That could be taking a trip, reading a book, being with a family, cooking, a hobby, whatever it may be that your soul needs, give it to yourself. It's important that you nourish your soul so that you can have enough spiritual stamina to handle life. So. If you want to go deeper, take the step and register for the course that will strengthen your intuition and empower you to not get swallowed by your issues or your emotions. Clearing Blocks to Intuition begins on June 18th, and you can visit my website, heldenlight.com, to register for that course and check out the other courses that are being offered this summer. Thank you, and I look forward to working with you.